What's up? Here we are with this big winter Mexican avocado that's about to go in the ground. I had to replace this uh, mulberry tree over here. This big monster. This is a, a Thai everbearing. A little bit of nematode issue. There's the original roots right there. You can see what they would look like until the nematodes get to them and they they bite into them and create all this nasty it's like scar tissue and uh, this thing just stops producing that's what it looks like when they first hit them little knots why they call them root knot nematodes so that's shot tree I, it, it didn't produce too well last year the fruit were really lousy so i kind of knew that nematodes were starting to beat it up so i yanked it here's uh here's another root you can see how it's uh beat up a little bit not the best so i'm gonna put a tree here that doesn't care about root not nematodes this avocado will not care about that so um the reason for this video though is i want to show you this is a 15 gallon and I'm only gonna put it in the ground. This is my hole. It's only a few inches deep. It's gonna be really shallow because they will sink over time. What happens is all this organic matter that's in this pot that we're all used to seeing, there's, there's no sand in here. There's nothing that is structurally gonna stay here forever. There's no rock, there's no stone. So it will all decompose. It's going to decompose into tiny, tiny particles, particles that are smaller than these sand grains. And then it's just going to settle its way down and this entire root structure will collapse. It takes about two years is what I've found. So I plant them really high and I'm going to show you how. Like that. That's how high that tree is going to start. Get it straight. Break up the top of this root ball a little bit. And then the surrounding sand, what I just took out of that hole just a little bit. If you stick it out of the ground, like almost a foot. It's like a solid 12 inches from here to the ground. This is the height I start at, and that's actually actually lower than I might like it to be, honestly. I like them even higher. But this should be okay. This will this will lock in. Um, I do have water right here. I've got a part of my system um, that was on this mulberry, so. This tree will now produce me avocados right here. And I also always go up here at the top, always knock the tops off if they haven't been previously knocked off so I can divert growth outward instead of upward. And uh, hopefully we'll have some fruit here in a couple of years, maybe even next year, but it's a little young. I'll probably give it, I'll probably give it a, a year of no fruit and then maybe get some fruit. I will likely take all these down facing boogers off the bottom here divert all the energy up into that canopy and that's why i also cut this off divert energy instead of going up now it's going to go out all sides out i'm not a big fan of these down facing branches so i do remove all these down facing and uh, allow it to kind of reset itself with these upward growths like that's very pretty I like seeing that I don't like seeing these droopy ones so I'm gonna let her get self established here for a few weeks and then I'll be doing more pruning <coughs> and resetting this tree to make it look how I want it to but it's already a good start it's a good tall tree solid root structure it should be a nice tree it should do good for us so I will uh, go get a pile of compost and dump it on there probably go get some rabbit manure in fact there's um out of the chicken coop 
that Jack shoveled out the other day. So that's going to go in here around them and it'll feed this tree real, real well. Let me uh, go ahead and do that while we're here. amazing it's the best nothing like some chicken coop good in the morning <laughs> so I'll spread this around not on top just around my idea is to Encourage outward root growth. Lots of good material, good nutrients all around this tree. Tell these roots to reach out and get some. <clears throat> so now I will go get some wood chips. Um, broken down wood chips, which is some pretty good decomposed stuff that I have years worth up on the hill and I'll pile it on there and uh, then we'll top it with mulch and I'll put a drip line out here which I have a piece of it right here and I've got my the end to this uh, this run here that fuels all of that all that agroforestry so I'll pop that in right here and I'll put a little sprayer head up here and we will be good to go so I'll uh, pop in here in a minute and show you the progress. There's the first drop, one scoop, composted wood chips, beautiful soil, full of life, millipedes, earwigs, beetles, bugs, ants, all kinds of things happening. This is the life we want. Now a load of mulch. And there it is there is a full fully planted 15 gallon tree that is how I do it here on this farm uh, for these soil conditions uh, just spread this out a little bit see I still make sure my crown is visible that first root is right there um, and that's that I'm gonna pop this irrigation head on here i'll put a little spinner right here in the center of it it'll cover this whole thing and uh she'll be happy but i might adjust if i was on a different place with different soil conditions a little thicker soil heavier lower a little more wet um, i'd actually probably go higher if it was wet um, not for the sinking but to get it up out of that because avocados do not like to be wet uh, look at all this look at all these millipedes they are my best friends. They are the best. The ultimate soil generators. And there are just an ungodly amount of these things here. Once you bring the environment, they really show up and get things done for you. So I expect that tree is going to be very happy. All right, that's how we do it here on the Reed Farm. You like my videos? Comment, like, subscribe, all those things. Share them. Tell your friends we're here. We got lots of trees for sale. All that is all overstock. There's tons of overstock. I mean, we've got a ridiculous amount of things. Um, a lot from seed, a lot from cuttings, a lot that we graft. We just have a ton of stock here and need to move them out and help you guys grow more food. And that's what we're here for. Experiment, grow it ourselves, and show you guys what's possible. Then you can be successful too. So. From the farm, back by the overly crazy growing greenhouse. See you later.